Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. Orville Wright, 1871 in 1948, Wilbur Wright. 1867 to 1912, the Wright brothers. Orville and Wilbur Wright are credited with building and flying the first heavier-than-air aeroplane. They achieved the first recorded flight on the 17th of December, 1903. Over the next 10 years, they continued to develop the aircraft making a significant contribution to the development of the modern aeroplane. Their particular contribution was in the effective control of an aeroplane, through their three-axis control system. This basic principle is still used today. It was for this control mechanism that the Wrights received their first U.S. patent, 821,393. Orville and Wilbur had two elder brothers Reuchlin, 1861-1920, and Lauren, 1862-1939, and a younger sister Catherine, 1874-1929. Their parents were Bishop Milton Wright, 1828-1917, and Susan Catherine, Kerner, Wright. 1831 to 1889. Their father worked as a minister in various churches, and as a consequence, the family frequently moved around. Their father encouraged his children to read widely and discuss issues. This climate of intellectual creativity and stimulus encouraged the Wright brothers to pursue a range of interests and studies. When they were young, their father bought them a small helicopter, built in France. They later commented that this helicopter sparked an interest in flight and they sought to build similar models themselves. Around 1885, Wilbur became withdrawn after sustaining a facial injury during a game of ice hockey. This injury and the resulting depression caused Wilbur to give up his dreams of studying at Yale. Instead, he remained close to home, helping his father with ministerial tasks and looking after his ill mother, however. Orville was determined to try new things, and his enthusiasm helped draw his brother Wilbur into new projects. In 1889, they designed and built a printing press which, for a short time, published a daily newspaper. In 1892, they capitalized on the safety bicycle boom and opened a bicycle shop. This was commercially successful and also enabled them to develop their skills as designers and engineers. Around the turn of the century, there was considerable interest in the possibility of flight. Most of this centered on gliders. But, the Wright brothers began to explore the possibility of mechanized flight with heavier-than-air aircraft. For both brothers, the dream of flying became an all-consuming passion. Wilbur Wright, letter to Octave Chanute, the 13th of May, 1900, they concentrated on building a more powerful, but lighter engine and worked on an innovative design for controlling the plane once airborne. They used funds from the bicycle shop to start testing at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. It was a windy environment which helped give planes lift off. They made extensive tests and also recorded a range of data about possible flights. Even at the turn of the century, many were doubtful that man would ever be able to fly. On December 17, 1903, the Wright brothers made the first historic aeroplane flight, where Orville piloted the plane, called the Flyer, with Wilbur running at the wingtip, the first flight, by Orville, of 120 feet, 37 meters, in 12 seconds, at a speed of only 6.8 miles per hour, 10.9 kilometers per hour, over the ground, was recorded in a famous photograph. The next two flights covered approximately 175 feet, 53 meters, and 200 feet, 61 meters, by Wilbur and Orville respectively. Their altitude was about 10 feet, 3.0 meters, above the ground. Five people witnessed the first flight, including John Daniels who took the famous first flight photo. Over the next few years, they continued to develop their aircraft. However, they were conscious of needing to gain strong patents to make their aircraft commercially viable. They became reluctant to reveal too much about their flights and disliked reporters taking photos of their designs. Their secret approach and competing claims by other aircraft designers meant that for many years their inventions and flights were met with either indifference 
or skepticism. However, in 1908, Wilbur began public demonstrations in Le Mans, France. His ability to effortlessly make turns and maneuver the aircraft caused a sea change in public opinion, and the display of technically challenging flights caused widespread public acclaim and enthusiasm. In 1909, Wilbur made a public flight up the Hudson River in New York, circling the Statue of Liberty. The 33 minute flight, witnessed by one million New Yorkers, established their fame in America. The Wrights made their first application for a patent in 1903, but it was rejected. In 1904, they hired a patent attorney, who helped them gain their first patent. However, other aviators attempted to circumnavigate the Wright brothers' patents, leading to painful and costly legal battles in the courts. I in the last two years of his life from 1910 to 1912, Wilbur played a key role in the patent struggle. His family believed this contributed to his premature death from typhoid fever in 1912. The brothers never married. Wilbur once quipped he did not have time for both a wife and an aeroplane. Orville Wright died of a heart attack at age 77. The original Wright flyer rests in the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. with the inscription.